Hello, and welcome to Bushkanu Dial, doing some uh, Minecraft stuff. I'm going to be showing a couple of redstone contraptions I've concocted. You know, just, you know, showing them off and such. Alright, so the first thing I got here is this door. Iron door. Cannot be opened because there's no switch around it. Except for these switches, which, when activated in a certain order, will open the door. It's one of the combination kind of lock kind of deals. And the secret combination is... And the door is opened. Bam! Just going to take a little peek inside of the circuitry. Yeah, look at all this. A little bit complicated. Um... Got, the, of course, the current going through the door and such. Really, I've no idea about this little port. Apparently, this is like a... You have to be like a serious electrician to get a lot of this crap. This is an AND gate, where both of these torches have to be turned off for this one to be turned on to power the current to the door. And for these two to be off, this one has to be... The switch has to be on... These switches have to be on to turn those torches off. To, so all the redstone leaves over here, it turns this switch torch on, which turns that one off. Very complicated, but that's the first thing. Alright, so the second thing I got here is what you have is a seemingly impassable wall. Until you pull the little secret switch here, if I can reach, there we go. Bam! Uses pistons to push one wood block up here, and then push a stone block to the side over here. Move to the side, and then I got my. And then I'm in that special room with all this gold, you know, for decoration and such. Pretty simple. It's not that difficult. I'm not even bother showing the circuitry for it. All right. So what we got next up here is this solid obsidian wall. Yeah, three thick, by the way. So even if you were to break through the first layer, there's three more layers of obsidian. Took a lot of time. So we got a basic pressure plate kind of door here. This was like the first redstone contraption I ever built. And it could kill you, apparently. Almost got crushed. Now, um, for some reason, the first couple times I did this, it's so basically got like um, the pressure pads here. Which, when stepped on, activate the torches, which turn, which which turn off the torches, which turn off the pistons, which makes them retract. Now, for the first couple times when I used this, it would burn out. It would burn out the redstone torches. Like this would like turn off instead of on. So the reason I have this little area open over here, so I could pick up the torch and place it back down as a manual fix. It doesn't seem to do that anymore. I guess it fixed itself. Yeah, but. Gotta admire the obsidian wall. Alright, now this one is one of my favorites. Now I've completely emptied out my inventory. Oh fuck, I gotta take the armor off. I'll just take that off manually. I'll probably be done. There we go. All the armor's off. You pull the switch and all this retracts. Ooh, secret passageway. Now this, this is my execution chamber. Pull the switch and whoever's in there is crushed alive. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna demonstrate. Yeah, it's, it takes a little time to... Man, uh, crap. It's hard to do with yourself. You usually need a person to actually execute. And as you can see, I'm dying. Uh, oh, oh, I weaseled my way out of that. Well, I guess that's enough of a demonstration. As you can see, it clearly, if you have a person all the way at the back, you'll clearly just crush them, so... Alright, so next up is pretty basic, simple, you know, rail minecart track, which I don't have the minecart for. Crap. Oh, that's a um, bit of a hamper and speed. Alright, I got the minecart. A little bit of a downer. I'm not having a minecart. And this takes me to my special place. Well, not really a special place. It just takes me to my other area that I build stuff at and such. As you can see, very long minecart track. I've seen longer though. 
there is a longer one in the same map. Let's pull out the map here. <clears throat> you could probably guess that I'm... <clears throat> I left the center of the map, where you can see, like, the brown squares. I'm heading to the gray squares, because that's where the other stuff is. Oh. Yeah. As you can see, it's quite a distance from the from the brown squares in the center to the gray squares in the desert. But this is pretty simple. Everyone should know how to make a minecart track. Do, 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 do. And I see the end with the other minecart. And this is going to bounce out and hopefully go back to base. There we go. Now I have a minecart waiting for me over there. Good. Now what I have here is a bunch of note blocks. Yeah, these, when uh, powered with redstone current, will play a note, as you could guess. I've set up to play a specific song. It didn't really turn out that well. It's got all the correct notes. It's just the timing of playing this, the notes. It doesn't really fit in with how the song is actually played. I don't know. It's a little hard to get it to play an actual song. Yep. Just a little... So you got the delayers, the, the repeaters that delay the current, so that way you get the little tune, and then you don't all just play it once. Kind of delayed. Yep. No one's going to ever guess what that song is. If you do, I will give you like fucking $20. Because no one's going to get that. <laughs> Moving on. So at this point, this is the last thing. You can see I got some TNT. Why is that? Because we're going to end with a bang. With our TNT cannon. Yeah. Pointed directly at a jungle. Because I hate jungle biomes. They're dangerous and scary. I don't like them. I much prefer a desert. Because look, I can see everything. Nothing's going to sneak up from out of a tree or something. We're going to blow this desert up. So, um, you got the, uh, the button you press lights this TNT, but the, uh, no, the button you press lights these TNT, and then the, rep it also lights this, but the repeaters delay it to light this, so these blow up first, propelling that over there, and then that blows up because it was delayed because of the repeaters. See, there goes that one. Oh, that didn't really go that far. Such a shame. And you have water, which absorbs the shock of the explosion. So, we don't have to worry about it blow the cannon blowing itself up, because we got water to absorb the shock. Alright, let's try this again. See if we can get that jungle tree. No, it does not look like we're going to get that jungle tree. We're just going to continue to F up the desert. Well, I got tons of TNT. I never really use it for anything else. So, on guard. As they say in France. That's a bummer. I got the first the first test run I did of it. I actually got to blow up some of the jungle. See? see there's a little crater here. Oh, well. I guess that's it, though. So, those are my redstone gadgets. A couple cool ones. A little bit of innovation and such. So yeah, stay tuned for more of my Civ 5 Let's Plays and maybe more Minecraft stuff here and there. See you then. Until then, let's let's fire this bad boy off one more time. I got tons of TNT. Well, only got 14 actually, not too much, but yeah, we're showing some hate towards that desert. Found some coal. We have to mine that. Yay! Bye bye, everybody.